Après huit ans, huit ans de Justin Trudeau, les Canadiens sont plus pauvres. 1,5 million de Canadiens doivent manger à une banque alimentaire. Le coût de nourriture a augmenté de 12 On a le taux d'inflation le plus élevé depuis 40 ans et les taux d'intérêt augmentent plus rapidement que dans l'histoire. Ça, c'est huit ans de Justin Trudeau. Mais ce n'est pas tout le monde qui souffre. Évidemment, les amis, les petits amis libéraux reçoivent des plus grands contrats pour nourrir de pro leurs profits. Cinq, euh, 15 milliards de dollars de contrats pour des consultants à haut prix, y compris McKinsey et le très, très bon ami de Justin Trudeau, Dominic Barton, une de ses meilleures amies. Aujourd'hui, euh, le comité va étudier et va poser des questions à Dominic Barton par rapport euh, aux contrats qui ont, sont plus de 100 millions de dollars, une énorme augmentation que cette entreprise-là a reçue de Justin Trudeau. Donc, les petits amis libéraux s'enrichissent lorsque les Canadiens sont en train de souffrir. Ça, c'est le bilan après huit ans de Justin Trudeau. Le bilan aussi, c'est une explosion dans la criminalité. Il y a une augmentation de 32 de crimes violents depuis le huit ans de Justin Trudeau, y compris 92 augmentation des meurtres liés aux gangs de rue. Donc, ça, c'est le bilan de Justin Trudeau. Les policiers et les premiers ministres provinciaux disent que c'est lié aux politiques de liberté sous caution que Justin Trudeau a mis en place. Euh, les maires de la Colombie-Britannique ont écrit une lettre disant que les, mêmes, que les policiers de Vancouver avaient besoin d'arrêter les mêmes 60 personnes, les mêmes 40 personnes, 6 000 fois dans un an. Alors, c'est la réalité que quand les criminels les plus violents, les plus récidivistes, soient libérés automatiquement le même jour, on voit ce genre de crimes qui, ont, qui existent à travers le pays depuis huit ans de Justin Trudeau. Alors, aujourd'hui, on annonce que le Parti conservateur mettra devant la Chambre des communes une motion qui sera votée pour renverser les politiques de libération sous caution que Justin Trudeau a mis en place, qui a causé cette vague de crimes partout au pays. Et on va rendre nos rues sécuritaires encore parce que les Canadiens ont le droit, ont le droit de vivre en pleine sécurité, et c'est ce, ce que nous allons livrer. Um, after eight years of Justin Trudeau, Canadians are eating increasingly at food banks. 35-year-olds live in their parents' basements. Rent and mortgage costs are up by over 100 percent. But not everyone is suffering. The high-priced consultants are making off like bandits. Uh, there's been, there's $15 billion a year in federal contracts by the Trudeau government to high-priced consultants. That's $1,000 for every single family in Canada. And one of the biggest winners, Justin Trudeau's friends over at McKinsey, his personal friend, Dominic Barton, The former director of McKinsey will be testifying because Conservatives launched an investigation into the more than $100 million of contracts that some public servants have said was for work that was of little or no value. And we want answers to these questions. We want to know why the insiders close to Trudeau keep getting rich while everyone else gets poor. And we will hopefully get answers on that today. It's not just uh, the cost of people's lives that's going up, but it's the crime in their neighborhoods. Violent crime is up 32 percent after eight years of Justin Trudeau. Now, the pre pre premiers and the police say one of the reasons is that Trudeau's broken liberal bail policy uh, turns loose the most violent repeat offenders the same day. In Vancouver, the same 40 offenders were arrested 6,000 times in a year. That's 150 arrests per year per offender. And Trudeau wants to release them again and again into the community where they do more and more violence, sometimes committing multiple crimes in the same day and being arrested multiple times within the same 24-hour period. So today I'm announcing Conservatives are putting forward a motion in the House of Commons to, reduce, to reverse Trudeau's failed liberal bail policy and ensure that repeat violent offenders 
stay behind bars rather than automatically being really released to set people on fire in transit stations, to hit people with ice picks, and to shoot our courageous police officers. Canadians deserve safe streets, and, and we will bring home safe streets for them. Je, déjà, je me suis déjà prononcé là-dessus. Je pense qu'il nous faut quelqu'un qui unit tous les Canadiens pour contrer l'islamophobie. Uh, et nous, a, nous supportons l'idée de, de, de contrer l'islamophobie à travers le pays. Mais ce n'est pas en insultant les, Québec, les, les Québécois uh, ou les Juifs ou des autres Canadiens qu'on va uh, réussir à faire ça. Dans le cas de M. Trudeau, dire « je l'appuie à 100 %», ça veut dire quoi? Justin Trudeau essaie de diviser les Canadiens pour distraire de son bilan des désastreux. L'inflation le plus élevée depuis 40 ans, les Canadiens qui ne peuvent pas se nourrir, euh, les jeunes qui doivent vivre dans les centres, des, des centres d'hébergement parce que ça coûte trop cher d'avoir une maison. Ça, c'est le bilan après huit ans de Justin Trudeau. Il ne veut pas en parler, donc il divise les gens pour distraire. Est-ce que vous voulez rencontrer Mme El Gawaoui? D'autres chefs? Euh, Je n'ai pas, euh, pas le plan de faire ça. We're open to it. I haven't seen that motion, but we're, we want to look at all of it. On child care, sir, on child care I'm wondering, I mean, mm. I've heard your MPs and, and your caucus get up in the House and pick apart the current child care deal with the provinces, but I wonder if you've reflected on what a poly of government would do with those deals. Would you seek to rip them up? Would you reorganize them? What would you do about national child care in this country? Well, what, what's clear is that uh, after eight years of Trudeau, people are still paying too much for child care. The spaces are still too scarce and people still have few too, too few choices. We are going to support uh, the bill to go to committee, study it, but our view is there should be affordable child care spaces and there should be support for parents regardless of what choices they make. Thank, Thank you. you. What about the existing contracts in place with provinces to get to $10 a day child care? Would a poly of government rip those up? We're going to, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, we're voting to send the bill to committee. We're going to study what results are act, actually being achieved. What's clear though is that after eight years, Canadians are living increasingly in poverty. They're stuck. Uh, they're, uh, the young families aren't even able to have kids because they're stuck living in their parents' basements until they're 35 or 40 years old. We're going to study this proposal, and we'll, we'll have a very clear policy before the next election. Would Thank you. Would this organization in B.C. end if you become prime minister? Yes. Now, well, by the way, I'm going to add just on that. Decriminalization has been in, in place in B.C. now since about 2017. In reality, the results are in. The debate is over. It has been a disaster, uh, an absolute abject failure. You not only need to take a walk down the streets of East Vancouver, where addicts lay face first on the pavement, where people are living permanently in tents and encampments, but you just need to look at the data. A 300% increase in drug overdose deaths in British Columbia since Trudeau took office eight years ago. The Trudeau NDP approach is on open display in Vancouver. It is a complete disaster. It is hell on earth. We're going to reverse that policy, and we're going to reverse it. We're going to replace it with recovery and treatment. That's what works. And again, the debate is over on that as well. In Alberta, they doubled the number of treatment beds from 4,000 to 8,000, and they've cut in half the number of overdoses. We need to save our brothers, our sisters, our neighbors, our friends from the scourge of drug ad addiction, and a poly of government will make sure there is treatment and recovery to do that. Yeah, no Thank you very much. On healthcare.